We found that the extremely complex waveform generators for bandpass filters, for countdown circuits, did not work as we had hoped. Months of hard work seemed wasted. However, we finally came up with some new ideas to get us back on the track. This unit is the outcome of our experiences with the previous units. As you know, we have tried the square wave in certain forms and also the sine wave with bandpass filters. This unit allowed us to study all the parameters of the carrier frequency. It also allowed us to study all types of speech modulation of the various carrier frequencies. For example, we could use frequency modulation or amplitude modulation, and we could use different percentages of these types of modulation. From 10 cycles to 10,000 cycles. Here we have a delay circuit built in where we can delay the signal between the various electrodes. Here we have a reversing switch where we can reverse the polarity of the signal that we're putting into the electrodes. This is our amplitude control that gives us our, both our carrier and our modulated amplitude. Here is an unmodulated carrier wave. I'll now advance the modulation control about to 50, about 50 percent modulation. Now that is the way speech appears as an electrical signal. Now a higher frequency note, such as a whistle, would look like this. Now we have the first oscillator set at 16,000 cycles at this time. So what we will attempt now is we will increase the volume here to about 50% and we'll bring up about 50% modulation also. And we will try this signal now. The signal is on right now. In other words, can you hear me? One, two, three, four. Anything. Nothing at all. I don't believe so. All right. So now we will increase the amplitude to about 60%, leave the modulation as it is. Because when we change this amplitude, we also increase the carrier potential. So the entire signal is being amplified. All right, now we'll inject this signal. Now, does that sound any better or can you hear that signal? Testing, one, two, three, four. I think I barely hear you now. One, two, three, four. Maybe barely. Do you want, do you want to hold? Testing, one, two, three, four. That's one, better. One, two, three, it's four. It's pretty faint, but there's something there. One, two, three, four. One, That's two, three, stronger. four. I've raised the carrier wave there. One, two, three, four. Can you hear me now? I think that'd be enough to help me some there. All right. Uh, let me go up on the modulation here. Okay. Can me now? Do you hear me now? I definitely hear. I don't know what you understand here now. All right. One, two, three, four. Well, that that the carrier wave is real loud there. All right. I backed off the well, carrier you're pretty wave. pretty loud right now. All right, I'll talk quieter. Can you hear me now? Some. Does that sound better to you? Uh, it's pretty good in a sense. Now there, I raised the modulation just a little bit more. Okay. We're practically 100% modulation now. How does that sound to you? Something else I'd change. I'm not sure what it would be. Maybe more amplitude. I'll give you just a little more. Okay. Well, that's almost too much. Right, about there. All right, right there. Now, what if I hold the microphone a little bit closer? Is that better? But maybe not any closer than that, though. That's no, right about there. That's pretty good. Does that? Uh, how does that sound to you now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Sure makes lip reading a lot easier. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece were white as snow. Well, that's not exact, but it's a lot better than nothing. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty. My country, tis of thee. Okay. Can you make out what that is? I know what song you're singing. I was curious if I could pick out the tune, not just the word. I see. All right. Does that, that sound any better to you? Pretty good. All right. Now, I'm going to give you the microphone, and you adjust these controls to suit you best. You know, this is the amplitude control. This is the percentage of modulation. And this is the carrier frequency. Okay. Now, I'll hold the, the safety switch down for you. Okay. So that you can okay. manipulate the controls. One, one, two, three, four, five. I don't sound as good as you did. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I'm not close enough with it. Well, you try various... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, the carrier wave's getting louder there. I'll go back some. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let me go up with the amplitude a little bit. Okay. There, one, two, three, four, five. Well, I came in better there. Exhaust, this is intake. Do you read me? Do you read me? Mary had a little lamb. Her fleece was quite, was quite as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhaust, this is intake. Do you read me? Do you read me? Over. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. But it's not loud and clear. It's pretty good, though. Can you hear my voice when I'm talking not up right there? now. Do you need to change the instrument? Change the sound? Barbara Grazer. His constant companion in silence often helped in the long sessions that were the steps in the journey back to sound. I talk a little bit louder. That's definitely better. You get a better voice coming through. Does it sound pretty good? That's pretty good right there. Good. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their party. Does that sound any better? Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their party. Yes. That at least I can pick it up sound. Does that sound pretty good? I mean, Tell me, uh, tell me the names of the children, see what they're like to me. Larry, Karen, David. Say it again. Larry, Karen, and David. Okay. Do they come through? I'm not sure if I could tell them, but it's good to hear them. You can hear their names? Well, I don't know if I could tell them apart without looking, though. But you can hear their names clearly. Yes. Definitely. Okay. TV, another in the many frustrations in Grazer's silent world now became a helper in his rehabilitation. Yeah, I hear someone trying to identify what it was. Well, I'd like some music right there. But it's still music. That must be a narrator talking now. No? It's a... A bass, uh, a, uh, a bass horn. Well, I'm not sure it's what or whether it's man. music. Well, so their right. voice so came in, I think. Time. Right. It's clear that their puppy days are drawing to a close. I guess it's the man's voice. Food is too it is. Soon, they'll have to do the hunting to survive. Now, here's something I don't understand. Just downstream, well, that's back the boys. are doing a little exploring on their own. I think I hear splashing even. They're good swimmers, but it looks as if the current might... Helped in association of sight and sound was accomplished with films he could watch as many oh, times yeah, as he yeah. desired. I feel like not just through the glass break, but the glass tinkle down individual pieces. I 
feel like someone knocking on the door then. It's been a long time since I heard that. Okay, then there are footsteps going along. You really hear the heel and the toe here. That clapping, that's pretty much annoying. All right, it seems that you've always come back to this 16,000 kilocycle, or 16,000 cycle range. So, it was an exciting moment when after two years of testing, we finally felt we could miniaturize and standardize the signal generator to pocket size. The parameters of stimulation turned out to be amazingly simple. A 16,000 cycle full sine wave carrier, 90% amplitude modulated with speech. There was no need to put in different signals to each electrode. We had reached the most crucial point in the entire investigation. Would constant use cause the electrodes to disappear by electrolysis? Would constant use damage the inner ear? Would Grazer be annoyed or even harmed by stray electronic fields such as those under high tension wires? Would Grazer truly get enough from the unit to make it really useful to him in an everyday sound environment? It was with mixed feelings of anticipation and apprehension that we gave Grazer his new ear. The next year was filled with excitement. And we now have approximately six tenths of a volt of carrier wave. Now, Mr. Grazer, we're going to, I'm going to change the symmetry adjustment on here because we are clipping at the top here. And I'd like to have you tell me just what the reaction is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's too much, sir. One, two, three, four. Let it back on soon. Back off. Whoops, whoops it's strong. Now, how, do, how does that that's sound to you? It's still too sharp. It's still too sharp? Shall we lower the volume here just a little bit? Now, is that still too sharp for you? Well, it's better the amplitude down. I think the other has to go barely back, barely clockwise. All right, now, uh, I've just moved it very, very little but, clockwise now. Uh, it's, I think it's getting the opposite way. I can't really... Shall I go... All right, now let me... Now I've backed off it counterclockwise a little to change to shift the symmetry line here. Now, does that the sessions became more frequent, and the electronics were built and rebuilt, adjusted and readjusted many times. Grazer showed increasing comprehension of daily sounds. What have your experiences been since we installed the new microphone and made the latest changes in the circuitry? They've sure been good. I get a kick out of this now. I think sound itself is a little bit more musical. And I'm having my keys now. They sort of jingle a little musical tone to them. They used to just clash or thud almost. I've even experimented with piano some to run just from one end of the keyboard to the other, and it's not nearly as limited as it was before. Uh, how are you getting along on the, on the telephone now? Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's not always the same. I think it has something to do with the volume that that phone has, but I had a very successful phone call the other day to a friend and made a regular telephone call, got the information I needed, and that was in, just as normal as it could be, but a very simple call. I think Mrs. Grazer told me that you have a little difficulty in hearing the dial tone sometimes. I have a feeling that they turn the volume off on their time signal, because I can hear yours, but I can't hear my own. Oh, I but see. At the same time, I can phone somebody, and I get a full voice from them, so it must be the time signal. Uh, how does this uh, latest change affect your recognizing voices from uh, a distance? Well, I think the main thing I noticed, I think it picked the tone up to what I would guess would be a more normal, a normal tone for people. It's more of a mid-range. 
Sometimes it's been an ultra-low voice from people. I see. 